Ever wondered what's happening on U.S. college campuses recently? A wave of pro-Palestinian protests has swept across, sparking notable security concerns. Rewind to the fall of 2023. Tensions were already high when Senator Mitt Romney and billionaire Seth Klarman, both Harvard alumni, criticized the university's apparent silence on the issue of anti-Semitism on campus. In response, Harvard took measures to ensure safety, closing parts of its campus to those without Harvard IDs. Fast forward to the spring of 2024. Protests escalated dramatically. Columbia University, for example, saw over a hundred students arrested as the administration grappled with persistent protests. The university cited safety concerns as the primary reason for involving law enforcement, yet this move sparked debates around free speech and campus safety. This issue isn't restricted to just one or two campuses. Pro-Palestinian encampments have popped up across the country, from New York University to Yale University, in response to the rising death toll from Israeli strikes on Gaza. These protests seen by many as a call for universities to divest from companies benefiting from the Israeli occupation have led to a rise in arrests and disciplinary actions. These events have raised questions about the balance between free speech and safety. The arrest of protesters has led to fears about the suppression of free speech, a cornerstone of American values. Meanwhile, the targeting of individuals based on their identity has intensified fears about the safety of students. Simultaneously, the ongoing conflict in the Middle East serves as the backdrop to these protests. The presence of riot police and the escalation in protest tactics highlight the seriousness with which these demonstrations are now viewed. The FBI, under the direction of Chris Wray, has expressed heightened concern that the turmoil abroad may inspire domestic terror attacks. The specific fear is that individuals or small groups might draw twisted inspiration from the violence overseas leading to a rise in lone wolf attacks on U.S. soil. The situation remains volatile. Educational institutions are grappling with how to balance safety and the rights to protest and free speech. The potential for these protests to escalate into more violent confrontations is a real concern, one that could have far-reaching consequences for community safety and national security. As we move forward, the challenge will be to manage these tensions constructively, ensuring that the rights to free expression are preserved while preventing any form of violence. The authorities remain on high alert, and it is hoped that through dialogue and understanding, further violence can be averted. The situation is dynamic, and continued vigilance is essential. So, what have we learned today? Protests have escalated on U.S. college campuses due to the ongoing Middle East conflict, leading to increased security concerns. The involvement of law enforcement has sparked debates on free speech and safety, while the FBI warns of potential domestic terror attacks inspired by overseas violence. The situation remains fluid, with a real concern for potential escalation. The challenge lies in balancing free expression and safety, hoping dialogue and understanding can prevent further violence. Thank you for joining the discussion. Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated on this evolving situation.